Welcome back, wise ones. Coming at you today with episode one of the Iceni campaign. Yes, you heard that right. We're going to go ahead and get it going with the Britannic tribes. Last series was Epirus. We were recreating the legacy of Pyrrhus. So if you haven't checked that out, definitely go do that. Very worth it series. The support had been amazing. And because of that, we're rolling right in to a new series where we're going to be taking over the Iceni, the Britons, if you're a Rome 1 veteran. The whole point of this campaign though is to one move up the difficulty to very hard i think we were just on hard last time hopefully that will help balance some stuff out but i'm also thinking of exploring the life of boudica uh the original baddie one of the famous queens of antiquity who got her revenge on rome after some very tumultuous and i'll say insidious grievances by them so without further ado though let's go ahead and get into the campaign you know have it load up here we'll listen to the little commentary from the advisor as always but then we'll get into it i think another little fun storyline for this campaign would also be for us to kind of restore or not even restore to have a british empire spin to it so after we conquer the isle go capture ireland then go get you know the gibraltar strait move into the egypt and whatnot our people are warriors but you seek to live in harmony with your king the Demeter have chosen to disrupt your peace and bring harm to your people. So stopping them must be your first order of business. The Brigantes are also unreliable and should be dealt with by any means possible. Finally, the Belgic Atribatis leave you little choice but war after their many attempts to settle your lands. However, you share no bad blood with the Damnonii, so they may prove valuable allies when you cross the narrow sea. By the will of Andraste, the Iceni will never yield. You love to see that very interesting little, you know, completely different neck of the woods, completely different unit types from our last campaign, which was much more Hellenistic with Epirus. So I'm really looking forward to that. One thing as well that I'm going to try to institute here is there's going to be, um, I shouldn't say one thing, a couple little things here that are going to make this series pretty unique. All of the generals that we're going to be able to use have to be female. So the first thing we're going to do here is go ahead and snag a new wife for our one homie here, as well as grab another wife for our other young in here. Hopefully they start having some children. But yes, the generals are all going to be females. I think that that's a fun little spin given the fact that we're, you know, we are... 200 or no, 330 years before Boudicca got her revenge she was doing that around 6 D A D, and we're right here in the 270s so we're going to do kind of a precursor the great 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 grandmothers of Boudicca are going to be on display here so we'll go ahead, move our spy over to the Welsh boys, start getting some of their food. We're going to go ahead and replace, uh, I think I'm actually also going to disband the mercenaries. Uh, I, I want to hit the Demate as fast as possible, but also I want to make sure that we're recruiting the appropriate units. Sword ban are really important at this stage of the game. But also, like I said, getting back to it, we're going to go ahead and replace the general with some of the female characters here. Uh, let's see, do any of these guys have, do any of these girls, I should say, have more military focused? Yep, our girl here, Blendia does. What are their names? Pekia, I believe, and, and Giyama, I'm going to call her Giyama. Those are all very interesting. We're going to go ahead and go with the Heroic Riders unit as well. But we're going to go, yeah, and you're like, okay, well, what are we going to do with the male characters? Well, they can go ahead and go on the diplomatic missions. They can go ahead and make sure they're the ones at home raising the the heirs, if you will. Kind of nice little reversal of fortune here. And hopefully we'll be able to, you know, hopefully we'll be able to incorporate a lot of female characters here. The other aspect of this is anytime we come up against a, yeah, anytime we come up against a faction that has any sort of diplomatic relationship with Rome, we are going to make sure that we immediately declare war on them. That was a fun little uh, tidbit I got, an idea I got from the Heir of Carthage, Rome, Total War II Discord. I had been putzing around there. That's a really good forum. I'll maybe try to drop that link below. I don't think we... We haven't built up the Wise Ones channel to do that ourselves just yet, but that's on the cards. We're also going to try to blitz through some military research here so that we can 
can get better units as we can get the best units as fast as possible. That was something that wasn't necessarily always the case in the Epirus campaign. Let's also try to lock down, you know, a non-aggression pack here. Perfect. Hopefully that turns into a trade agreement. That was one thing that's really interesting about this difficulty is I none of these people really want to trade, which I'm sure I means I have to maybe offer them some coin to trade, which is fine. I'll I'll try to do that here. Uh, let's go ahead and try to drop some some payments, offer some payments. But nope, still low there. Okay, noted. You know, maybe maybe uh, maybe we're not the end of the world with uh, you know, not having not having trade partners. It'd be nice, but we also know we're going to be pretty meal. Okay, I may be. Uh, I think if we go. Yep, 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 yep. If we go up to 400, I think they accept it. Okay, 500 final offer. Take it or leave it. Let's see if they finally. Uh, let's see if they finally acquiesce. Okay, noted. Next turn we'll try it. But then also you saw those. Uh, you saw those strong arm hands clasping. That means that those are. That means that those are con possible confederation targets. So that'll be really interesting to uh, eventually try to get you try to use that to to our ability. Man, we're already six minutes into this episode. Did not expect that. We'll try to. I'm gonna try to you know focus on ending some turn ends here. I want to build up. I want to have like at least six slingers. It's gonna be really important to have the range advantage over the AI here, who seem to be building up a pretty strong, uh, pretty strong spear-focused army with then some decent garrisons. Um, I probably should disband this to save up the money that we have, but we're going to keep letting it go. We can also, we're definitely going to grab some mercenary Britain scout riders before we move over as well. Okay, let's keep it moving. Let's keep, it moving. Let's keep these turn ends fresh. But yeah, in the comment section below, I, I think I asked this as one of the prompts on the last, in the last campaign for one of the episodes, but I would love to hear who maybe one of your favorite female figures was from antiquity. There's a lot of really cool, a lot of interesting characters. Cleopatra, Zenobia, Boudicca herself, Artemisia. Yeah, you know, it, it could be Olympias. It could be Alexander the Great's mom. So there's a lot of, there's a lot, there's a lot of great examples. And so now as we tell you the truth actually we might we're gonna hold off on building that building so that i can recruit my army as fast as possible here um yeah i want to make sure we're getting the sword band because that'll set us apart for sure and we're gonna go ahead uh we're gonna stay on military and we're gonna go ahead and try to get to the infantry chain mail as fast as possible through here. And after that, then we'll maybe start opening up some economic places. I just wanna to get to the chosen spears, the chosen, all those people as fast as we can, uh, as fast as the game will allow us. Okay, it looks like we got a little agent skill here. Let's see what we got. Probably do something with, we got some experience. We got some unit replenishment. You guys know if you're a wise one veteran at this point, I love the unit replenishment. Wouldn't be the end of the world. Uh, we can get a little extra. We can get a little extra food here, which would actually be pretty neat. Um, don't know if that's the best use of our of our. I would love to get toxic unlocked eventually. I would love for that to actually start inflicting casualties. But for now, we're just gonna go ahead and get the replenishment. We are gonna need it, I'm sure, when we start marching over to attack the Demate, Demate, however you want to say it, the Welsh boys, basically. Oh, maybe I should I should be trying to grab trade agreements. That's what I should have been doing with that extra shmoola. Peace treaty? Nope. We could do that and just start building up big armies and steamroll, but no, I want to I want to keep there. I want there to be some I want to be there. I want there to be some action. We're actually going to move. Speaking of action, we're going to move our army up to the border. Let's go ahead and see if our southern Englishmen want to there we go. Finally. I should have done that a couple turns ago, but it is what it is. Let's see if we want a trade agreement here. Let's see if we can pay them. Eh, nope. Okay. Noted. I mean, I'm sure I can snag some non-aggression packs with some of these people, but really don't uh, really don't care about that. I, I probably should, looking at this here, I probably should try to snag a non-aggression pact with these guys. Nope. Okay. Noted. All right. Looks like we're going to maybe have to ward off an army from the Brigantes. Uh, let's go ahead and snag another four units of swords. Then next turn, we will march over, snag ourselves a Britain scout rider, and just try to blitz. We're giving, we're letting, uh, we're letting the AI get a little bit bigger of an army than I'd like, but 
trade-offs here, trade-offs. Uh, sometimes, you know, you start campaigns where blitzing is fast to grab some economic centers, but at the same time, other campaigns, you need to know when to hold them or when to fold them, kind of, that, that whole adage there. So let's go ahead. Can't snag any Britain scout riders yet, but uh, we will go ahead and uh, move our forces to be able to strike this next turn. Let's go ahead. See if I could sabotage the army, get some skill points. Beautiful, beautiful. There we go. Let's go ahead and uh, see if we can bump up. See if there's anything else we might want to snag here. Launching an ambush while deployed. That's actually not bad at all. Parent army, the things we're not going to do that to him. Uh, we'll go ahead and just give him the steel, just in case we want to snag some gold from enemy agents if we see him. Kind of a nifty, kind of a nifty little perk there. You know, one thing I actually might do while we wait to get the... I might try to raid. I might try to... Yeah, actually, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to raid. I'm going to start raiding the lands of the Damate here, see if we can get them to come out into an open battle. Because I... Oh, actually... Ah, man, I, I engaged the Asian action when I really actually probably should have... Uh, probably should have left it more for the uh, I wanted to maybe I should maybe try to sabotage this army so they couldn't reinforce and then just swooped in but instead we're going to wait for these guys to push out this way hopefully we're able to bait them in sooner than later but uh yeah is it because they're grabbing all the Britain scout riders yeah yeah gonna have to pay special attention an oath sworn unit already off the bat not loving the sight of that not loving the sight of that but let's go ahead and keep ending these turns get us get us to the action as fast as possible Oh, here we go. Perfect. Exactly what we wanted. Exactly what we wanted. I think we can handle the... Um... Oh, man. Now that I think about it, though, I, I do think we can win this fight. I, I really do. Uh, but actually, I don't have the mobile advantage that I kind of want. Um... Let's see what we got here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, it, but at the same time, the a another adage that we like to use here, scared money don't make money. So let's try to get after it here. See if we can uh, see if we can have our swords chew through some of their spears. This is all going to be kind of dependent on if we can withstand a lot of the javelin volleys that are going to be thrown. Hopefully find a nice little place here. Yep, get some height here. So we're not going to have to worry about being completely outflanked. And let's go ahead and set up. Yeah, let's go ahead and get a pretty defensive setup going here. I think the slingers we're going to do. The issue, the one issue that I know I'm going to have to worry about is not having the cab to get around the back and get into the enemy skirmishers. Let's go ahead and take these four here and uh, spread them out up top here. Uh, I'm going to have these guys, I'm going to place, I'm actually going to place all of my troops on the guard mode function so that they toss their, ja I think that'll help them toss their javelins. I'm going to try to deploy in a little bit of a removed back fashion. Just just so that we're able to wrap around the flanks if the you know if the AI concentrates on the front here. Let's actually go ahead and move our, our slingers up as far as possible. Cool. I'm gonna actually fast forward a little bit, see if uh, see how long see how long it takes them. Yeah, again, the biggest what are they gonna be the what are gonna be the biggest worries here? The biggest worries are gonna be the fact that we don't have the cav to get around to the back, except our general, which we're definitely gonna have to use her very effectively, as well as the oath sworn. I am not looking forward to the oath sworn. But here we go. Looks like we're about to get into the engagement. So I will move us to one time speed. Yeah, man, they have a lot, a lot of slingers. We're gonna have to make sure we're gonna have to use we're going to have to make sure we are using our micro to peak efficiency here. Yeah. Okay. We're getting engaged. Let's go ahead make sure we're doubling up on uh doubling up on units where we can. Actually, let's go we're actually going to go ahead and try to start getting going first. Here, because I do not want to actually, I don't want to just sit around and trade missile fire. So I might try to, I might try to push up a little bit here, see if we can, uh, see if we could draw, we could draw them out a little. Let's go ahead, and move our guys up here, and actually we're gonna need to move our, we're gonna need to make sure our general is in decent position to help out. 
Okay. Yep. Let's see if we can, uh... Yeah, let's see if we can... Our general here. Cool. Okay, we actually did engage some of their... Alright, let's go. Okay, we're gonna actually need to make sure we are... Let's kill those heroic riders if we can. move let's move our let's actually move these swordsmen in here yeah let's get these heroic riders going here okay i actually like i like what we're i like the engagements we're getting yeah i really like these engagements we're getting actually i'm gonna try to i think we're gonna be able to open up this flank on the left here soon okay cool we were able to wrap them up we actually were able to wrap up these guys a little bit better than i thought Let's see if we can get her. See if we can get her through the. Let's go ahead and get her through the gap there. Uh, let's just throw some. Yeah, let's go ahead. Make sure we're. There we go. I don't know where that oath sworn is. Okay, they're way back there, which is fine. So we're going to actually go ahead and take our... We're going to go ahead and... The one thing about the guard mode, though, is... Alright, are these guys broken? Good, cool. Alright, let's get these... Let's, let's get into the back of the Levy Freeman there. That should be, you know, free cheese. Okay, the whole point of bringing the Slingers out was... Was to be able to, oh, they're not oath sworn. They're heroic nobles. I'm sure I'm going to have a bunch of those in the comments. See if we could hit these levy. Yes, nice. The enemy general is dead. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. And we are going to make sure we're trying to mop up as many of these guys. We want to make sure we mop up as many of these guys as possible. Yeah, let's go ahead. Start just absolutely shredding these guys where we can. We're going to move these guys over here. All right, let's move here. Let's go ahead and get our... Okay, we did lose a couple... Uh, we lost a couple units. Not the end of the world. All right. Let's go ahead and... Uh, let's actually make sure we're... Yeah, let's actually make sure we're running down. Yeah, we can have these people keep shooting. Yeah, while we wait. While we wait for this battle to break. And there we go. Absolutely. We're going to continue this battle, though. Right, we're gonna make sure we uh, we have this person stop, so we know we stopped shooting our own men. But we'll go ahead and fast forward here. Try to try to run down as many of these people as possible. Okay, after that horse, he kind of cleans up there. Let's see if we could get. Let's see if we can get them to to. All right, let's see. Let's see if we have our lighter armed units too. Okay, cool. That was big. That was a big, that was a big enemy general is dead moment to hear here. Come on, come on, horses. Get there, get there, get there. Yes, nice. Good. We were able to turn those guys a little bit. All right, let's, let's just let it run out here. And that was a good first victory there. Absolutely. Uh, you know, we're still going to have to destroy the garrison army, which is fine. Uh, probably pick up a couple, like a mercenary or two. We're going to get a lot of benefit from releasing the captives here. Uh, I know I, one of my strategies at the beginning of the game is to release the captives to get the wealth. It's something, kind of how I like to to snowball the, the armies here, but... A lot of good kills on the sword band. This is what I was talking about, how, how they're so much better than the kind of Levy Freeman which is what a uh, kind of a trashier unit to start the uh, to start the game. There we go. Completely destroyed the big or no, completely destroyed the little army and only a little remnants of their forces is going to get through, which is annoying though because they might get a full new general. Oh man, look at those heavy heavy rains. Springtime for sure. Let's go ahead army sabotage. Not like we need to. Okay, that happens. Let's take that out of the stance here. We're gonna drive them back. 
And let's go ahead and try to assault the, uh, let's assault the settlement. We will take that victory 10 times out of 10. And that is a great start. We, lo we lost a sword ban, not the end of the world by any means. We will, and this, I forgot that this is a gold settlement. That is huge for us. Uh, let's go ahead and make sure we're building a fishing village in one of the spots. Actually, no, we're going to upgrade Camelodunum, but then next turn, which is modern day London, uh, interestingly enough. But we're, next turn, we'll go ahead and probably do Camelodunum, will probably be the harbor because it's so close to get across. We want the warships to be there and where we'll start our Royal Navy. Uh, and that's what I was talking about with the Brit and I kind of leave it uh, after we end a turn and let this stuff roll through. Let's talk about this. Let's go ahead and assign the skills first. Yeah. Names start with a B, might as well be the same thing, if you will. Boudica, Blandia, same thing. And we're gonna go ahead. I actually am not as familiar with some of these uh with some of these new trees. So let's go ahead and take a look really quick. Campaign ma movement is excellent. Usually that's in the strategy tree for the Hellenistic one. It's not like it's not there either. Replenishment for the units, that's really important. Um Let's see, I'm sure morale, fear, you know, minus, that, that this is awesome. Dread would be dope. Let's go ahead and unlock the warrior trait. Oh, she gets two of them. That's amazing. Let's go ahead and uh, the charge bonus, and then next, hopefully next, we'll be able to uh, launch that, that dread line. What else are we looking at, though? Um, or no, what else was I talking about? So another thing I want to mention, let's go ahead and spy on the uh, Brigantes, because we're most likely going to have to deal with them next, is... The area is kind of like the sequence, and if, it, if stuff moves, it moves. The sequence of kind of battle order for this is secure the Britain main isle, hop over to Ireland, then go control the Gibraltar Strait, and then it might be fun to take our talents. You know, usually people think like, oh, let's just hop over into France right there, northern France. But no, I think instead, let's go down, capture Cyprus, capture Egypt, capture Syria, maybe into Pakistan, and end it kind of going into Pakistan, rewriting a the history of what the British Empire looked like in, you know, in the 17, 1800s at its zenith com to, compared to what it was in the ancient times. I think that'd be kind of a fun thing to do. Of course, we can't get India, but close enough. We can be close enough. We got to kill this army here because they are... You know, they're making our populace hot and bothered as well as taking our in own income. Uh, what's our... Okay, we're not the end of the world in terms of... Uh, I'm a little worried, though, they're going to be able to recruit some mercenaries. And I don't know how much... Yeah, we don't have that much. We have to wait, sadly. Uh, but I want this army to replenish ASAP so that we can get back on the road with it as fast as possible. How many more units can we recruit in general? Two more. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the sword band, and I do want to hold out for the cav piece. And I wonder, actually, next turn I can convert this to the stables, or the horse pens, and that will give us access to the Britain Scout Riders. <laughs> actually, I'm not going to be able to do that next turn. We are not making enough shmula for that. But I think that that's kind of the first ideas that I have for this series with the all female area, keeping it, the all females keeping it interesting, coupled with the, you know, exploration of an ancient British empire. Maybe call it the Boudicca British Empire, BBE, if you will. Another title for the series might be, maybe not even series, but, you know, for the episode. We will probably, I'm probably going to end one more turn. So that next turn, then we can either choose to go with the port option. We can get some spear ban. Most likely, though, we're going to go ahead and convert to be able to get the horse pens. I think, uh, you know, having some cav this early in the game will be very helpful because these guys have... Looks like the Brigante already have sword ban, but we'll need to get them. Well, that means we'll have to take a little bit of a military advantage on the mobile aspect. You might also be yelling at me to have, you know, folded those three units that are in the capital of Camelundum. Kimmel Dunham, rather. Uh, oh man, looks like the looks like the Irish boys over here do have quite a few troops. I do want to recruit a champion. I would love to do that, but I know that I'm going to have to spend most of my money this turn on conversion to a horse pen. That's going to take three turns. This army's looking pretty solid, actually. If I take it out of the settlement, mm, that isn't the best. Let's go ahead and force march up into position. And then what we're going to do here is raise a force, raise another baddie over here, put her in. I mean, it'd be nice to put her in a heroic noble, but we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to go ahead and drop her in the heroic riders. 
Um, and that'll help with the uh, that'll help with the public order. And because of that, I guess I'll do what I should have done a while ago, disband that. Yeah, that gives us an extra man. We have missed out on like 1500 coin in the past uh, in the past like three or four to five turns. So that is a good start. But yeah, we're going to end this episode relatively short. I want to make these early ones pretty digestible. I know towards the end of the Epirus campaign, we were in the 30 to 40 minute range. So again, though, I'll plug the Epirus campaign that followed the life of Pyrrhus. This campaign is going to follow a way early life of Boudicca. Vote of offering. What does that give us? Plus four public owner and morale. You love to see that. Uh, let's go ahead and drop our agent into to grab us some more food, now that I'm thinking about it. Uh, let's go ahead, get that person from out from our side there. Yeah, I should have been doing that probably a while ago. And then we will leave her in. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead, leave it. Can we snag? We're definitely gonna recruit a champion, hopefully. I'm wondering if there's, we don't even have access to the Britain Scout Rider yet. So yes, let's go ahead and recruit a champion here so that we can get Oh, we can't even recruit the champion. We're just short. Okay, we're going to go ahead, end one more turn, recruit the champion, and then we'll wrap up this video and have to you guys wait for part two where we're going to go ahead and take Blendia and try to go ahead and take over what the northern, the north lens of England, Yorkshire. Okay, I wonder what the Scottish and the Irish are cooking up over here. I keep calling them by their modern geographical terms, but I really should get it right. What we got here, the Caledones and the Ebdani and these are the Brigantes. So we're going to go ahead and try to make sure we are being factually correct. What did we want to do? Though? Wait, one more turn for the horses. In the meantime, probably want to just go ahead and snag the bronze workshop. Or does do one of these give us... Yeah, let's go ahead and snag... Actually, no. Yeah, let's go ahead and grab the port. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm backtracking. We're going to go with the bronze. We're going to go with the, uh, the bronze workshop. All righty. All righty, all righty. Last turn end, even though now that I'm thinking about it, I can't believe my attention span was so short. We wanted to get the champion. Uh, so silly, so silly. But now in the army, we're going to go ahead and be able to recruit up the cav units, and that's where we'll leave it for our next push north. Looks like our boys over here are struggling with food. Anyways, the Brigantes are struggling with food, so we should be able to handle them. Okay, good. We also got some serious military research going. Um, love to see that. Yeah, and we have upgraded stables, which is going to be coming, is really going to come in handy. But let's go ahead, snag that. There's our cav for the rest of the turn. Go ahead, get those guys out of our land. We're going to have to keep doing that until they eventually transpire. But that is a good start. We captured one settlement, ended a few turns. We're really marching along with the military research. Hopefully, we can expand London or Kemaladunum as fast as possible. We also have the army next turn to go ahead and push up into the Brigantes area. Thank you guys for tuning in to episode one of the Asini campaign. Let me know in the comment section below any ideas you have for the series, your thoughts on the ideas for the, the series or what I had talked about today. But most importantly, though, stay wise.